welcome to video tutorial 6 and in this video tutorial we're going to look looking at the animation effects that are available in EasySketch Pro. Uh, here we are with a blank canvas, let's uh, open up the image library and we'll go to characters and let's have this uh, explorer here, uh, we put them on the centre of the thing and as we've seen before uh, if we press the play button up here, the green arrow, then our hunter will be drawn. Okay, but what if we don't want uh, the hunter to be drawn so quickly or we want him to be drawn more quickly? Um, we can affect how the hunter is drawn by selecting him, right clicking and coming down to properties or we can select him and take the, uh, the shortcut of pressing the F2 function key. Um, and when we click on properties uh, we open this box here, the effect shop, effects options. Now it may look a bit confusing but it's quite straightforward really. Uh, there are two sets of options here. One is entrance and these effects uh, apply to how the object uh, is introduced onto the canvas and then we either have exit options on the right hand side here which affects how uh, the object leaves the canvas. Um, uh, that is optional, it doesn't have to leave the canvas, but if you want it to, that's where those options are. Okay, over on the entrance effects, we can see that the default is draw by hand, and we saw that the hunter was drawn by hand. And if we come down here, we can see there's a drawing time, and the default for the drawing time is three seconds, so it takes three seconds for the hunter to be drawn. Uh, if we want it to be drawn, let's say, slower, and uh, we'd like that to be 5 seconds, we can easy, either use the slider bar up here, uh, up and down, to change the drawing time, or you can click on it and manually set it here, uh, or indeed you could just uh, overwrite the figure and put a figure in. So let's change it to, say, 6 seconds. Uh, we press OK. So now we've got 6 seconds for the drawing time. Uh, click on apply to make the change happen and close the box. Now if we press play we can see that the hunter's drawn uh, about uh, well, uh, half, half the speed it was before so it takes twice as long, six seconds to be drawn. Okay, now there are uh, other options than drawing by hand. Uh, that's the default but we have other options here. For example uh, let's to demonstrate them. Let's just bring that down to three seconds. Say back to three seconds. Now we can have do nothing, and if we do nothing and apply that and press play, the hunter just appears, and he appears instantaneously. So the drawing time uh, is irrelevant. Uh, if you do nothing, it will just appear on the canvas. Um, we go back in again. Uh, draw is the same as draw by hand but surprisingly enough without the hand so if we select draw apply and OK and we press play again as if by magic the hunters drawn but there's no hand OK uh, let's set him again now if we right click now and go properties and uh, we actually, oh no, I don't know what's happened there, we got up to 25 seconds there. Okay, we'll come, back, we'll come back to fading in a moment. Anyway, so that's drawing uh, but without the hand. We've then got drag in, okay, and drag in uh, will have the object uh, be brought in from one, of the, from one of the directions off the canvas onto the canvas. So as soon as you select drag in, you, these arrow buttons, which aren't active when you pick draw, they're greyed out, uh, as soon as we're dragging in, we can then choose the direction we want the uh, hunter to be dragged in from. So uh, at the moment it's coming in from the bottom right hand corner. Uh, let's say we want him to come in from the bottom left hand corner. We would select that one there. And the drawing time will be the time it takes for the hunter to be draw, um, sort of dragged onto the canvas. So let's click apply and OK. And if we press play now. Here he comes from the bottom left hand corner and he takes three seconds to come off from off the canvas into the middle of the canvas. Uh, clearly we can change the direction if we want. If 
wanting to come down from the top, we could apply that and OK. And if we press play, here he comes down from the top there. OK, so that's drag in. Um, drag in by hand, uh, again, not surprisingly, is where the object's dragged in, but there's going to be a hand. So let's drag him in from the bottom right. And again, it's going to take three, three seconds. So we'll apply that, press OK, and if we press play, we have a hand that drags in the hunter from the bottom right hand side, and it takes three seconds to do it. Uh, the final option for the entrance effect is fade in. Uh, and this, uh, as, as, it's, as it says on the tin, uh, the hunter will fade in uh, and it will take three seconds to fade in. So let's uh, notice that the arrows are greyed out again because there's no direction involved. Click apply and OK and we press play. The hunter takes three seconds to actually come into full focus. OK, that's all the entrance uh, effects. OK, let's uh, move our hunter over here or explore over to there and let's bring in uh, a sailor say let's have him over there okay we note as we said before our hunter is number one we're drawn first the sailor the number drawn number two so um, let's now go back into the properties for the uh, hunter or explorer and um, we've seen uh, the various options here we've seen the drawing times the time that that the, uh, the effect takes to happen, except for do nothing because it doesn't apply. Um, we've then got some other options here. We've got delay before. Um, as its name suggests, this is the delay um, that uh, will happen before the um, software starts drawing the, um, the hunter. So let's, um, again, we can use the slider bars to set this. Uh, we can click on the uh, click on the time and let's knot it up to I don't know three seconds let's apply that uh, like so okay as we should see that you can see the slider bar going up here so it's taking three seconds delay before the hunter gets drawn okay so three seconds and then the hunter gets drawn and then the sailor gets drawn I haven't really mentioned this slider bar up here before but it shows you the total length of your project so it's 10.5 seconds at the moment and uh, as you play it then it goes along showing you uh, how far into the project you are at any point you can press pause and it will pause the playback and you can press play again to make it go again pause and you can press <coughs> excuse me press this uh, orange square here to uh, stop like so okay so that's uh, delay before. Uh, we've then got pause. Let's set our delay before back to zero. Um, we've then got pause, which is the time that happened that, that the system will wait after completing this object before it starts drawing the next object. So for example, let's uh, again, let's set this say to three seconds. Okay, and we'll apply that. And now, when we draw, uh, when we press play, we should see there's a delay of three seconds between drawing the hunter and starting to draw the sailor. Here we go. Well, we've actually got fade in, so, and you can see nothing's happening over here yet. And then we get the uh, we get the sailor being drawn. Okay, that's because we had him on fade in. Let's have to go back to draw by hand. So that's pause. Okay. Uh, let's put that back to zero. And finally we have fading here. Um, fading is the time it takes for the colour to be added to the image. So uh, especially demonstrated by, uh, by showing you. So let's, if we play it as it is with no fading, no fading time, you see the colour comes in instantaneously once the image has been sketched. Um, but if we come in here and let's set the fading say to mm, not eight seconds. Let's set it to two and a half seconds. No, whoops, three and a half seconds. And we apply and OK, and we press play now. It'll be the image will be drawn, and then it will take three and a half seconds 
for the colour to come in which is quite a nice effect if you want to use it whereas over here this is just happening instantaneously pretty much well not instantaneous actually because if we click on it we'll find that the default fading time is uh, half a second so if you if you want the colours to come in instantaneously and you've just added uh, an object to the canvas you do need to come in here and move the fading down to to zero okay and then we can see that we've got the fading coming in on this one and over here the color comes in straight away so there's no no fading okay it's just uh, one other thing I want to show you in this video uh, if we um, if we select the hunter right click remember we had um, this copy setting and paste setting um, we've changed the properties or the animation on our hunter um, and suppose we want to actually have those same settings applied to the sailor uh, without actually having to go in and set them individually well we can right click on the hunter come down to copy settings then we go to the sailor select the sailor and go paste settings okay so now if we press play we've got the hunter appearing and he's taking three and a half seconds for the color to fill in and um, because we've pasted his settings over here we find that again we're getting three and a half seconds for the uh, for the fade in over here whereas before it had no fade in so it's just a an easy way that once you have set the settings particularly if you set a lot of them to very particular values um, and you add new objects to the canvas it's a very easy way to just make sure you're using the same settings if that's what you're looking for. Okay, those are entrance animation effects. Uh, in the next video we'll look at exit animation effects.